Nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome <laughs> to another live stream. Today, today is July 6th, 2023. And we're doing our global mapping of world conflicts again. This is part six, I believe. It must be part six. It is part six. And um, we built this up slowly. Uh, I guess 10 hours of streaming we've done in front of this uh, video. Actually, probably longer because we've uh, gone over time for sure. Uh, and we've talked a lot about uh, what's going on in the world. And things have continued to shift since uh, we started uh, these global mapping uh, mapping out global conflicts streams and we have to pay this map a visit again because things are shifting cockpit how are you doing hey man have a great day you as well you as well thank you very much for popping in birdie here how are you doing we live we are indeed we live we live amazing stuff taking place this is the planet we live on right wow wow on every front, economically, politically, socially, environmentally. In terms of understanding how the world functions, uh, so much has been revealed in the last two decades and it's accelerating, right? So we're gonna pay this thing a visit and take a look at uh, what shifts have taken place since the last time we did it. And I think last time we did it was probably about, I would like to say about a month and a half ago, two months ago, uh, within the last two months anyway, and already things are shifting. And uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Cockpit, what is your favorite land based, land based on economics? What is your favorite land based on economics? Mm, you mean which country is uh, the richest in terms of resources? I'm not sure what that question is referring to. Random Moose Brain. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Jicho and chat. Indeed. Yeah. Resource wise, uh, Russia, huge. Iran, huge. Canada, huge. United States, huge. Brazil, huge. I mean, you can take a look at the land masses and pretty much the bigger they are, usually they control more resources. Uh, Central Africa, huge, right? Huge, huge, huge. Uh, not resource rich, China, right? India to a certain degree, which is really weird because, I mean, nothing close to Russia or Canada right and these two countries combined have what almost three billion people right at least a third of the planet of uh, the population of the earth is in this region throw in bangladesh and indonesia malaysia <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> luxembourg they're also quite rich for their population oh, for their population yeah for their population um, per capita that would be a different story right i'm just talking in terms of raw resources those are the countries but in terms of per capita um sweden would be extremely rich so would norway norway and sweden per capita would be huge right um and canada would canada and russia would be the top um for sure for sure canada more so than russia i think russia's population is about 130 million right i know it's largest land mass 11 time zones um, and stuff like this but canada's population is only like 38 million so uh, and second largest land mass in the world right so per capita um it would be a different game it'd be a different game I finished doing holy moly you stream it a lot on your vacation yeah 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 i was aching to stream multiple streams in a row right i finished with my students on friday so i decided to hit up four in a row next week we're going to take it easy i'm just going to get caught up with other things but then probably in about 
eight days or so we're gonna eight nine days or so we're gonna pop, 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 hit it up again right Ronnie salutations hope you're doing well um, but light pimp uh, and Australia of course right any country with natural resources are being slowly controlled by by China well it's it's the resource wars so I wouldn't say all countries like Canada now where are we? Canada uh, slowly was trying to be controlled by China but geopolitics started playing a game in this and some big money from China is pulling out of Canada as they should right I mean if you if you were from China and there's a and Russia if there's a war being waged on your population on your country you'd be crazy to hold assets in the countries that are waging war on you right it just wouldn't make sense i mean look at <laughs> look at what the what the western world's done with russia completely illegal seizing assets uh, closing accounts uh taking over uh corporations uh like it's looting it's stealing and they're digging their own grave in the western world because what's going on is other countries are looking at this and saying why in the world would we have assets in the western countries i mean they, they didn't start this with russia by the way they just picked the russia was the straw that broke the camel's back right they they did this with venezuela right the uk seized venezuelan gold what the f right so if you're any country outside of the western world why in the world would you have assets in the uk you wouldn't you'd be crazy to keep assets in the uk absolutely insane right so and iran i mean look at what they did this stuff really huge began with iran in 1978 19 um, 1979 1980 and stuff right it's crazy just digging their own grave look at iraq what they did with iraq oh north korea iraq iran libya come out and said they're going to start trading oil outside of the u.s dollar oops what happened libya annihilated iraq occupied north korea locked down sanctions and we know what's going on with iran right no birdie here should you all move to canada no if you're willing to fight tyranny for sure uh, but if you're going to bow down to world economic forum puppets no get the fuck out right? uh, we don't need any more extra world economic forum puppets in canada um there's we've got plenty of those clowns right yeah exactly it's getting crazy it's getting crazy uh cockpit but china has like amazing spy technology i think uh, here's the thing uh like countries when they try to play the tech advantage that only works for a short period of time right and because technology is evolving Moore's law faster and faster and faster and faster and faster then the time span that a certain country has a technological technological advantage over someone else becomes shorter and shorter and shorter so tech advantage only goes so far now right it used to go a lot further in the past right look at United States when they developed nuclear weapons right that kept the, the supreme power on earth right for two to three decades right but then russia started developing nuclear weapons faster and faster and faster and faster right the the from what we understand in korea the korean war the united states the west was losing the korean war and the only reason we have north and south korea right now is because united states said that they would play the nuke card right they turned to russia and china and north korea and said look if you guys don't cut a deal right now and we freeze the conflict we're going to use nukes and russia and china at the time didn't have nearly the nuclear power as the united states so they bowed down and said okay let's freeze the fucking conflict all right us can't do that anymore they can't come to russia in ukraine and say hey listen we need to freeze the conflict right now or we're going to use nukes russia's going to go what are you fucking crazy we've got more nukes than you do right 
So that technological advantage is gone, right? Gone, right? So that's the thing. How long is that going to last? Uh, and in my personal opinion, uh, the two top countries in the world, actually three top countries in the world, with huge tech super supremacy right now, right? China is there, but it's not the top three. Russia, Israel, and the United States. In my personal opinion, I think United States, Israel, and Russia are technologically the superior, uh, the top three players in the game right now. China coming up. China coming up. Uh, they do have the supercomputers here, but uh, it's very focused. It's limited uh, right now. They'll catch up super fast in the next less than five years. Less than five years. Cockpit, I swear you should be in my history. I don't know. I don't don't take everything I say with a grain of uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Right? Don't take everything I say to heart. Uh, sometimes I get my dates wrong. I, I get my dates wrong. I get my names wrong. I get the players wrong. I go for more events than the movement of society, right? Uh, but light pimp, China loves to steal intellectual property. That's a fallacy. China is not was not stealing intellectual um, intellectual property. The Western countries were handing over intellectual property to China. They've been doing that for the last 30, 40 years. Oh, cheaper to build here. You don't need as, you know, you don't need to pay people a living wage or the living wages. China is a, was a lot less than the living wage in the United States or Europe or anything else, anywhere else. So they willingly decided to build their factories in China. Okay. China's like, okay, sure, thanks. We'll, we'll do it, right? And then they said, oh, you have to, you have to sign these contracts saying you're going to abide by our intellectual rights. China's like, uh, <coughs> right? Yeah, okay, sure. We'll just bring in our people, take a look at how you do things, and copy it, right? It wasn't stealing. Stealing implies you go somewhere, someone's someone's land someone's property someone's country and steal that tech if the people in that country hand over that technology that's not stealing that's thank you very much right plutorino oh my the map is back the map is back did we talk about norway uh phosphate yet no no i don't know norway phosphate yet um I'm not in the loop on that one, Plutorino. Uh, Ronnie, what do you think of Chinese building military base in Cuba? There, the United States has what, 800 military bases around the world, military bases surrounding China, right? What's, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. What's good for this is good for that. Uh, tit for tat, right? That's the whole thing the technological certain threats that the west has been making for a number of decades against other countries is coming back to bite them in the ass right i personally don't want anyone building new uh, military bases outside of their own countries i think every country in the world should get the fuck out of every other country in the world and that's my take right Birdie here. Yeah, these countries still largely rely on China at some point in the supply chain. Yeah, China don't steal intellectual property. If they want something, they just buy the company these days. Yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. My Kurtos, yo, how are you doing? Gang, I'm going to do my little quick intro. Uh, we're on Patreon, Substack, subscribe. Sorry, you're definitely welcome to follow us there. Uh, see what we're doing. Uh, we are live streaming on Twitch. Okay, if you want to participate in these live streams uh, you can definitely join us on twitch uh, we will most likely this summer get into live stream on rumble and kick as well and i'll see what other platforms we can live stream simultaneously because we definitely want to start decentralizing uh, more than we have already uh, for those of you that are supporting this work on twitch patreon substack as well as supporting us on sensor tube thank you very much for the support including the support we're getting through other means 
uh, gang thank you very much for the support including cryptos and paypal and coffee and whatever it is uh, just sharing liking being here participating in discussion joining our gilded server sharing information gang thank you very much for your support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing uh baby knight hello and yeah that's such a weird concept building military bases in other countries yeah it's just weird like oh, why not just build a, co a company say well, okay we're going to build a company company and it's going to be economic uh, and that's going on right now right the, the difference between what china has been doing in africa relative to what europe and the united states the western world was doing in africa and is con continues to do in africa for the last well oh, fuck for so long now hundreds of years now right crazy plutorino norway found the most immense natural phosphate rock rocks phosphate uh, is used in batteries and fertilizer other than morocco there was no natural phosphate at best we get cheaper batteries at worst more expensive fertilizer really is this is a new discovery the phosphate uh, deposit i didn't it didn't hit my radar at all and i used to follow i did geophysics I've, i i know i know about canada and a lot of deposits and stuff like this i've been down uh the deepest mine in sudbury ontario right back in the 90s right this was a meteor crater and meteor crater impact hits boom and just creates a lot of mineral deposits right either through the through uh the meteor meteor bringing in the 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 minerals or oh, and as well with the impact right that generates uh sort of stratifies some of the deposits and stuff like this can put some together it, it, it's an interesting process the heat the pressure and all that jazz right uh, so mineral deposits uh really intrigue me and i've processed a ton of data on them doing geophysics especially the kimberlite pipes in uh, northwest territories the diamond uh, where um, extracted diamond it, it didn't hit my radar at all yeah yes new like the past couple past couple of days wow super cool super cool mainstream talking about it now i work with uh some insurance companies working with mining companies they started talking about about this on sunday very cool which is which is really good actually which is really good because norway does have very difficult to do when you're pointing it like this norway has oops in the wrong way norway has um certain environmental regulations pays living wage from what i know anyway i know canada doesn't more in large part uh, for mining and stuff like this and like you said a higher cost higher cost for sure and expensive fertilizer indeed that'll put pressure and which company uh norway uh nationalized oil but has norway nationalized other minerals as well uh pluto pluto i'm gonna say pluto pluto reno pluto reno i gotta be able to say that fast does as far as i know norway has only nationalized the oil and they've taken that money from oil wealth they have accumulated i think in the 1970s they did it uh their norway by the way has the biggest fund it's the biggest fund in the world they have i forget what it is like a ridiculous amount of stocks uh so and every norwegian citizen gets a certain allowance every year because of the riches of the north sea oil i'm not sure if it's it is nationalized but the mining company is norwegian the mining company is norwegian okay cool 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 very cool might be a good time to get into well that's investing personal finance maybe and gang just to finish off uh this quick intro we do announce on twitter mines vk gab getter and substack notes uh about half an hour to an hour before we go live uh uh, and I do announce other things as well, uh, but more, way more on Gilded. I, I'm very active on our Gilded server, so you're definitely welcome to join us there to see what's going on. And we do have a SoundCloud page where we upload some of the audio of these live streams 
as podcasts and these podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify google play apple amazon and all the other ones hopefully anyway we're, i don't think we're censored or anything yet okay uh aside from that gang uh, welcome to our live stream and we're gonna upload this full live stream onto sensor tube okay i don't think we're gonna get into a discussion that's gonna be censored on uh sensor tube okay uh so let me take these guys down i'm gonna pour myself a drink uh it's hot here so i need to not need to but i'd like to when it's hot have uh, spirits on the rocks sky pilot x yeah but in norway we won't allow more pollution uh, of the seabed even the salmon farming here is a nasty toilet yeah 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 i we like i love salmon but uh whiskey on the rocks uh i love salmon but i don't eat farmed salmon not if i can help it uh okay so any farm fish in fishing is very nasty very nasty it's uh, it creates tons of pollutants it's uh, lots of parasites in the fish uh, it's it's extremely nasty and I believe some of the fish farms there's lots of fish farming by the way as uh, sky pilot says in Norway there's lots of fish farming in Chile okay and lots of fish farming in Canada I don't know where else they're doing a lot of fish farming um, those are the three that I know of and Chile's been doing it for a long time. So has Canada and so has Norway. Uh, but it's nasty. It's very nasty. Salute, gang. I hope you're on a fantastic Thursday. Ah, Jameson gives you a nice kick. Gives you a nice kick, which is pretty sweet. Gang, there's a couple of things that I wanted to point out. I guess people fish for them because it's easier to fish <laughs> because they give them hormones so basically the size difference is insane right so if you have if you have like for example salmon here, here here's let's say here's like a wild salmon you can get right like where's my fish tail let's say this is your wild salmon that's your wild salmon farm salmon looks like this right gigantic compared to wild salmon so you get way more meat and stuff like this but parasites diseases cancer polluting the environment and it doesn't taste as good and fattier okay like go to go to a sushi restaurant and order sashimi uh get if you want to do an experiment i don't recommend eating the farm salmon just order sashimi right salmon sashimi one just get a six piece or something of uh, wild salmon get another one of farm salmon the wild salmon is pink and beautiful just so nice the farm salmon is pale and fatty and not the same not the same not the same. Uh, Berlin, uh, Bud Light Pimp, by the way, the lyrics. Uh, have you been following the chaos in France? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. We called, by the way, you see this? The, the color scheme here is blue is a safe haven, red is full on war, yellow is a civil war, and orange is actively participating in war. France was actively participating. Well, actually, all of Western Europe is really actively participating in war. But two months ago, our last map stream, I don't know if it was two months or three months ago, whatever it was, we said that France was a civil war, right? Now, people are talking about, oh, France is a civil war. Yeah, right? So we're trying to, with this mapping stuff, we're sort of trying to stay ahead of the game, right? Because when it comes to personal finance, safety of our family, ourselves, or finances and stuff like this, we need to know what's going on before corporate media starts talking about it. Because when corporate media starts talking about it, it's too late, really, uh, to do anything about it, uh, especially in terms of personal finance and stuff. Yeah, so France, yellow, civil war. Okay. 
civil war for sure. Uh, eight pelos, eight pelos, but also preserves the stock in the ocean. Well, no, not necessarily. Salmon farming or farming fish is actually creating certain diseases that are filtering out to the wild stock in the ocean and killing them, right? So uh, preserving the stocks in the ocean is not. It's actually damaging the fish stock in the oceans because they're releasing, uh, there's parasites, there's fungus, there's cancer, is, is releasing a shit ton of diseases into the wild and a lot of the wild stock is being depleted because of that so it's having the opposite effect of that actually baby night did we mark the war in france we did civil war we did it on the last stream so it's a civil war <laughs> we're ahead of the game there right padre 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 how are you doing hi i eat a lot of sardines delicious i think the cans i get are from the black sea I'll go check. Okay, okay. I, I we buy sardines every now and then. And sardines are fantastic, by the way. But if you can't get sardines in can, in jars, cans, you know, they might be leaching some toxins. But it's very difficult to find in jars, right? Scott Pilot, antibiotics are fed to the fish. Yeah, and thirty percent of them die from sickness and other factors. Yeah, the antibiotics use in fish farming is through the roof, through the roof. L Leodent, Leodent. We figured out a few years ago how to just increase the natural population. I don't get why we don't do it. It's cheaper to farm salmon, f do farming. You sh give them shitload of antibiotics, right? Give them hormones up the yin yang, make them all fat, right? Disease ridden, cut them up and sell them, right? You get more weight, right? It's money, economics. How do they feed the fish with antibiotics? Uh, pellets. The pellets contain everything. They give them pellets and phew, the fish eat the pellets. It's like what the World Economic Forum wants to do to humans, right? You will eat the bugs and be happy. What's in that thing, the pellet you're going to feed the humans? Soil and green or what, right? Pink QB World War Three map is back indeed. Uh, the purple, the blue, the blue is safe haven the red is actively war and we need to change the stuff up a little bit okay we need to change thailand we did thailand as a safe haven it's no longer a safe haven right thailand but better be thailand i'm going to take this down hold on let me take this down right thailand just had elections right and a pro-western party just won the elections in thailand immediately they're starting to put sanctions on china they're starting to uh supply weapons to myanmar okay and they're already implementing western style of economics and politics neoconservative so in my personal opinion since we started talking about this i think thailand is about to go into a civil war um, we're at the beginning stages of it it's no longer a safe haven. So um, I think th th before I do anything to it, I'm going to wait until people, you, you know, you guys tell me what you think Thailand is. But that's my take. And some of the news I've been following. Okay. PQB. I've, uh, I've saw a video today about britain and america still in iraq helping fight isis with the iraqi army they're not helping fight isis they funded isis right uh the best thing iraq can do is get rid of the uk all foreign forces in iraq right and check this out saudi arabia and yemen they haven't signed a peace deal yet right saudi arabia and yemen right with iran with the help of china they've been and Russia, they might be going into peace mode, right? I wouldn't mark them as blue yet, but it might not be red anymore here. Fingers crossed it happens, right? Uh, uh, oh, pa 
padre looked it up and google says nobody farms sardines nice sardines sardines for the win <laughs> they don't ah my brain got got it and civil war mixed mixed up yeah oh yeah sure papa oh okay i'm not a surprise baby knights they feed all animals with antibiotics and hormones yeah unless you're buying locally uh locally raised uh supply right pluto i don't want to change uh this fish conversation as i find it exciting but india also came out recently saying um, they support the philippines claim in the south china sea whoa, whoa they do i need to read more into the situation and see what others reactions are but not many people are talking about this Oof. okay that's serious conflict with uh, china right so philippines because china's claiming you know south china sea is chinese territory and, uh, claiming some islands there japan's contesting some of them philippines contesting some of them so if India is coming along and saying, taking the side of the Philippines, very unstable region. It looks stable, but it could be quite unstable, this area. Okay, we've got it marked off as blue, but that could flip on a dime, right? I see a red and purple marker near Chicago. Is that right? Chicago? Yeah, the United States. United States is actively participating in war. United States is at war and actively supporting war, right? So, and come the next few months, we might have to put a yellow on the United States that it's a civil war as well, okay? I don't think we're there yet. I think United States, depending on what happens in the elections next year, will, could, possibly go into a full-out civil war i hope not um, i don't think it'll happen next year but depending how things play out in the elections for 2024 uh, the odds are by the end of uh, end of this decade the united states will be in a civil war um, and that's what martin armstrong has been uh, mentioning as well Layton, the united states is the main actor behind the majority of wars on the planet NATO, yeah, pretty much. And the United States, yeah. Got to love it, Baby Knight says. Cops on the entire world, yeah. Uh, Layden, we started out on the right foot with the right idea, but history tells us that eventually all good things come to an end. Indeed, indeed. Uh, Mr. Brain Freeze, will Iran join BRICS? I think Iran just no Iran just joined uh, the CSO Shanghai Cooperation Organization and yes Iran almost guaranteed is going to be in the BRICS if it's not already in the BRICS I don't think it's already in it it's in is it did it just get admitted into the BRICS or Shanghai Cooperation Organization I think Shanghai Cooperation Organization but it will definitely get into the BRICS as well it's a it's a lineup a huge lineup if people wanted to get into the BRICS right birdie here is is iceland a safe haven yeah for now it's a safe haven however uh, some of the highest percentage of injected in the world are in iceland so that's problematic okay i can only imagine iceland as a safe haven yeah right now there aren't too many countries a safe haven and gang any any comments about uh thailand be sheep salutations hi chicho good to see you good to see you as well um pimp but late pimp i don't understand uh, i understand it is called the south china sea but is there not a general consensus that so many miles off a country is considered international waters yeah but what's been happening is there are islands in here and different countries have claims on certain islands so as soon as you have an island there somewhere then a certain mile from that island becomes your seaway i guess your territory right and if there's a whole bunch of islands scattered all along here and if you say mine 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 then that whole area is yours aside from that china has been building islands on reefs so all of a sudden they build an island it's like a gigantic military base with landing planes uh, and whatnot all of a sudden that becomes a man-made island and how does that play out 
if you make a land-made island, that's if you made it, that's probably you know it's legitimate to say it's yours, but you also get the rights to the area of the sea that surrounds you. So that's what's been going on as well, right? Sky pilot, are we seeing strategic positioning for water resources in the complex? Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot. This area is fucking crazy. If I think the there's already water wars happening, but the biggest one is here. Uh, huge, 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 right? Cheryl, salutations. Hi, hope you're having a good Thursday. Shame socks depends on the level of fortifications in 2024. Greetings, fellow bipedal land mammals and quadru quadrupedal uh, contrarian contrarians. See death 420 salutations. Hope you're doing well. Baby, nice. Should Switzerland be a safe haven? No, I don't think so. Not anymore. They are always neutral. No, they're not anymore. No, but I have no idea if they're. Uh, taking a part in the NATO Russia war, they are. They're supporting. Uh, they're supporting Ukraine. Their Switzerland is no longer a neutral country. Switzerland is actively participating in war. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brainfreeze, no, Switzerland is not neutral anymore. Yeah, it's not neutral anymore. What a disaster for Switzerland. What a disaster for Switzerland. Very, very nice. Really, how so? They are helping Ukraine. Yeah. They froze assets, they and they came out and said they support Ukraine. They've done some other crazy stuff too. <laughs> peeps, peeps, be sheep. You mean supporting Nazis? Well, they did in the past too, right? Plutorino, neo imperialism. Make the new land and land that take it, then take it. Yeah, yeah, basically. Make the new land and take it. Yeah, with China, with building the islands. Just imagine. There's got to be reefs and stuff here, right? Just imagine you being a country. Let's say, um, which country should we be? Let's say you're Tanzania. You say, you know what? The fuck with this. I'm going to join the imperialistic march. Let's say they come over here off a reef and build an island and say, mine. All of a sudden, they have the sea, all the sea area. That's Tanzanian land. What do you think the United States would do about that? Right? <laughs> Mine. I, I want an island. Right? They freeze Russian assets and post sanctions. Yeah, and they post sanctions. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Damn, didn't know. I love you more. Salutations. So, Chicho, when are we going to wipe out Sleepy Joe? I don't. I hope no one wipes him out. I got my vest in. And AK-47 ready. Oh, this isn't going to be enough, man. I don't think you want anything to go down that uh, down that road. Doesn't matter if one has remembered or done research on the world. No. What if I was born tomorrow? What would matter, Chicho? You know? Uh, born. If you're born tomorrow, it really, just like anything else, it really matters where you're born. Right? matters who your parents are how wealthy they are uh, how much resources your country has how healthy your parents were what they did what your mother did consume while you were pregnant what types of food you had access to if you had access if they had access to clean water um, yeah a lot of things a lot of things uh, baby night you got to chill my guy yeah agreed uh, I love you more. Uh, these political streams that we do, especially the map one, we participate in longer discussions. Uh, there's a people need to give a reason why they're uh, they're thinking something or they ask a question. So just pop in, pop in comments left, right, speedy Gonzalez style, just random. Mm, it's not the best thing to do. And what's going to happen is I'm basically going to start skipping your comments, right? Because it throws a rhythm off. Okay. Uh, what you like, Sleepy Joe? Blah, blah, blah. No, no. Like those gas and food prices, carbon, go Trump. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love you more. 
maybe you need to chill. I know you you're pretty recent in, into our live streams and our, our community, right? Take a look at what we do. Take a look at what we do, right? Sometimes it's best to uh, chill and listen, right? Cheryl Kapow. I think Cheryl did a Kapow. <laughs> uh, deep sheep. Sleepy Joe is just an empty vessel that is a puppet who has his strings pulled by Obama and his mates. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know that 100%. He could be just a very excitable little young kid, uh, but he's definitely uh, if he's if he's for real, he he he's just excited. Oh, he's maybe discovering stuff, information coming in. Maybe he's on on his phone swiping too much. Uh, you know, just getting images, memes. Memes could be fantastic, by the way. Little words and stuff like this and that's the way and that's what our education system has done it hasn't allowed people to have be able to do calculus and participate in a longer discussion right he could be just someone like that that needs to grow up right he could also be a shill right he could also just be in sort of to a certain degree agent provocateur or someone that's just a shit disturber and is just trying to troll right or paid agent of the state it could be that either way I'm going to start skipping his uh, comments after this one. Too many 211s, you're right. Well, shut up my trap, you, you know, you know me. It, I don't know. I don't know. How come there's no marker on Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan we talked about, right? We weren't sure if it was a safe haven. We couldn't decide. We didn't know if it was a civil war. It's not actively participating in war. We know that. So we know it's not red. Uh, it, well, it, it, well, there's no war. We, we know it's not red. It's not actively participating in war. So we know it's not orange. The question is, is it a safe haven or a civil war brewing? It was a civil war brewing. Russia stepped in, stable now. But I wouldn't consider it a safe haven because it's a dictatorship. And it could flip on a dime, right? So that's my take on it. What's the significance of orange marker in Canada? Orange marker, Canada is actively participating in war, right? Actively participating in war. Canada has sent how many billions of dollars to Ukraine? Military funding. Canada is actively participating in war. And Canada has people on the ground in Ukraine. Advisors in Ukraine. So Canada... Is involved in war right what do the colors mean the colors are these blue safe haven red active war orange actively participating in war supporting war yellow civil war okay so hot war supporting war civil war safe haven okay okay i'm curious about thailand gang i don't think it's a safe haven anymore it might be a safe haven for about a year right but if i was in thailand right now like literally to me a safe haven is this if i was living in that country i would assume my finances are cool right i don't think they are if I was living in Thailand right now, I'd be very concerned, very concerned, especially if I was a foreigner living there, right? Expat living there. I'd be, I'd be looking into getting some of my finances out of Thailand and putting it in a blue zone, right? And making sure my passport is valid just in case you need to get the hell out right so i'm going to take thailand off i don't think it's a safe haven i really don't uh i'm definitely definitely willing to listen to the counter of that but uh eric uh burletic burletic lives in thailand i believe and he's very concerned very concerned right 
Uh, Adopolis. Seems like countries would be damned if they support war and damned if they don't. I, I don't know damned if they, they, they don't. I think neutrality is the way to go right now. Even though there was a global war, World War One and World War Two were world wars, there were countries that were neutral. They didn't participate in insanity. I think there is a means not to participate in war, right? Fisted monkey. PS4 salutations. Welcome to our live stream. Thank you for the follow. Pink QB. It might be a good idea to put a key screen for the call uh, for the cause. We had a key screen here. Uh, there was a key screen. Uh, I was gonna put it together. Elder God was said he was gonna put it together. There was someone who had it. Um, but I don't know the command for it. I don't know the command for it. Uh, yeah, maybe I should put it here. Hold on, let's do this. Let's do this. Because one of the reasons is um, we do have people drop in. You're right. So let's do this. We're going to go uh, safe. We're going to go civil war we're gonna go supporting war 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 zone war zone let's do this let me grab my let's do this what do we got uh, we can do this well, all I got is pink. So we can do this. Ooh, hey, come here. Okay, we lost that one. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put this here. Okay. Can you guys read that? It's not. It's not big enough. Maybe. Mm, let me do the scissors. Sorry, gang. I'm just going <laughs> to. I'll keep on losing these. Well, let's do this. I'll set something up for next time. Uh, better. Uh, supporting war, supporting war. Orange, orange. Do I have an orange? I got a yellow. I got a yellow. I don't think I have an orange one of these. Oh, I do have an orange. Nice. Oh, no, that's yellow. Civil War. Do I have a blue? Do I have a blue? Oh, I do have a blue. Nice. Here's a blue. Here's a blue. And what do we need? What do we need? Uh, orange, orange. Let's do this. A couple of oranges. That's not orange. That's not that. Yellow. Do I have yellow? Orange is going to be hard. Uh, here's orange. There we go. Apologies, I'm not reading the chat. I just want to take care of this for now. Kicker is going to be, how do we put it on there? I hope these have stickies on them. Let's do this. Let's put a tape on this. Does this have a sticky on it? It does too. Yes. <laughs> That's the best we can do right now. <laughs> That's the best we can do right now. Let's do this. There. Okay. Safe civil war supporting war. Haha. <laughs> it's good enough, I think. <laughs> it's readable. Okay, awesome. Good. Good. Uh, 
Welcome to America. Blah, 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 blah. Peace, peace, peace. Thailand pushed the Corona jab big time. Yeah, uh, which makes them owned by Pfizer and Big Pharma. Yes, indeed. However, one of the royal families, um, women, girls, got injured, right? And the royal family came out and started to say they were going to do an investigation into this thing. And lo and behold, as soon as they said that, lots of money started going in there and the government flipped right so my take is a civil war really we're at the beginning stages of the civil war in thailand and most likely thailand will go orange and will be actively supporting war unfortunately unfortunately patre 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 my vietnamese co-worker told me thailand was hot a few months ago i can't remember all that she said though yeah it's uh maybe pin uh pin a comment um what you call it uh brian valedic i can't remember his name brian valedic he lives in thailand and he's been he covered that initially when it flipped over i watched him on the duran and i watched some of his videos on what he was saying about what's happening in thailand it didn't look good did not look good it did not look good uh padre some asian countries are real tight with china some with the west yeah yeah F fisted monkey ps4 i've been lurking a few streams now so hi everyone salutations fisted monkey thank you for doing the follow and participating in the discussion salute i'm assuming you're enjoying our live streams Fist and Mikey, thank you for the salutation show. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. In the police. Being Canadian, if um, it bothers me that a small country such as Ukraine is left alone to defend itself from a giant like Putin, are you saying countries should not support and then allow Putin to do what he likes? Uh, see, here's the kicker all of russia the biggest country in the world is not just putin right that's a talking point right so there's 130 million people living in russia so you can't say russia is putin it's like calling the united states biden is the united states biden you would never call the united states biden you can't allow biden to build 800 military bases around the world that doesn't make sense right you can't allow biden to control nato right if you believe Biden can even wipe his ass, right? So saying Putin for Russia is disingenuous, right? It's not, it isn't. Like, like really, it's crazy. Ukraine is not small. Ukraine is pretty damn big, right? Ukraine is huge. Oh, Elder God's in the house and he posted the thing. Yeah, nice, Elder God, you weren't here, so we made a hooky wokey little thingamajiggy. <laughs> oh, Elder God, you rock. Pin, pin the thing. Nice. Nice. So Ukraine is pretty huge. It had a population of 40 million people before this whole thing happened, right? Before the 2014 coup, right? NATO has been arming Ukraine for eight years, training the shit out of it. Ukraine has the, had the best army in all of Europe. Really, best trained, best best equipped best army in all of europe right so ukraine wasn't a little kid uh and putin a giant coming stepping on him right ukraine was threatening russia right stupid 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 right personally for me as a canadian I don't want to participate in a fight. If I see fights on the street, I ch depending on what's going on, if there's knives involved, stuff, I'm, I'm stepping back, right? Because if there's knives involved and bats involved and weapons involved, you step in, you're part of, part of the conflict. It, you know, you might get hit accidentally. But in my time, I've stopped a lot of fights in the public multiple times. 
There's a couple of times I got hurt, right? There's a couple of times that, you know, I got hit, right? I can take a punch, right? All right? Uh, I wouldn't do it now, right? Well, no, I would do it now. But there's certain fights that I stopped that I wouldn't do now because they were too dangerous. And at the time, it was a little tougher, right? Uh, so, no, neutrality is the way to go. You should be a peacemaker, not participating in war. That's my opinion, right? We demand the digital map next time. <laughs> Controller Zen. <laughs> Randall, I'm also lurking. Randall, lurk away, lurk away. Awesome, awesome. Salute, salute. Love the pick, by the way. <laughs> Cigar patio picks should be a thing. <laughs> I guess they are now. The curry night has been insane. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cheryl to controllers and oi boy needy aren't you? Digital map. Maybe not yeah, maybe we can pin the comment in uh, chat for now, like Cheryl said, yeah, Elder God's on it, he popped on it right on. Thank god Curry Knight slowed down enough for uh Elder God just to pop it for a bit. Oi boy, smart you are. Six million lives. Salutations. Welcome to our live stream. First time chat. Salute, salute. I'm way behind the chat. I'm scrolling down, gang. I'm going to try to get caught up. Uh, Andromeda 856. Do you think that the war will end soon? Ukrainian victory? Or is Russia more like the... Russia, Russia has already won the war. Okay, is it is the war going to end soon? I sure as hell hope so. The devastation, the 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 number of innocent people that have been murdered in this fucking war, is horrendous. I watched a video of, uh, I shouldn't have watched it. I've I've watched way I followed war too much, and I told myself I wasn't going to watch the death and carnage of you. Of, I stopped. I put out a post in 2011, 2012, saying that I was going to stop following geopolitics because. World War Three was coming. The wars were not going to slow down. It's going to. It was going to continue to escalate, and I wasn't going to. Um, uh, I didn't. I didn't want to follow the death and destruction. Give the day here. I'll. I'll read you what I wrote in a paragraph. Really, I, I'll read you what I wrote because I really want to emphasize this. Right. A lot of people say, "Oh, we couldn't see all this shit coming." Yeah, we could have seen seen this coming. What the fuck are you people talking about? You follow geopolitics. You know what the fuck is going on, right? This is political economic warfare that is absolutely insane it's disgusting and it could be stopped this is this is the most unnecessary war that i know of in history right so this is what i said here i'll link it up in uh in the chat so and i'm going to read you just one two paragraphs two paragraphs right and i called this uh, this is the title of this post and I call that synopsis of our present predicament, what the future holds, a final note. And I treated this as my introduction to politics, geopolitics on my website. And this was a previous website that I had that got uh, knocked out. So I transferred everything over here, right? Uh, these are the last three paragraphs. These are two of the last three paragraphs I'm going to read. Quote, why George Carlin's words bring me comfort is because they imply that the problem has a solution, education. Hence my work on mathematics. The alternative that we are aware of our history and are indifferent to it is unthinkable. And this was a comment that above uh, regarding George Carlin's quote saying, think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that, right? And then the paragraph, what I wrote continues, saying this, this via quote since i have no desire to document the play-by-play -play symphony of carnage that is being unleashed and is to come and since i have said what needed to be said or as aaron dotty roy would say quote i feel that i don't have anything direct to say without repeating myself end quote we'll consider this post to be the introduction to politics on chicho and it will be the be the last strictly geopolitical discussion we have on this site for quite some time at least until russia china iran or another formidable enemy of our choosing or making is duped into directly confronting nato or until the next major false flag sends the world into a frenzy 
Okay. I think I edited this once, but I wrote this back in 20, 2014. I think I actually wrote it in 2012. Okay. So that's my take on it. Uh, I'm not sure what I was even replying to, but uh, I thought I would share that just because um, it, it, it's it, Ukraine. By the way, it was about Ukraine winning it or Russia winning it. Ukraine has lost a war. Ukraine has Ukrainians have lost their country, right? Not because of the war with Russia or the military op, special military operation according to what Russia says or war with Russia according to the Ukrainian western perspective, right? But because the Ukrainians allowed puppets of NATO and neocons to be put in place to rule over them they promised peace they delivered war this was the most unnecessary war in history and if you want to know what this war is about we have a command now you can go exclamation mark ukraine okay and it links you up to two right here right here two podcasts both of them with rfk jr one of them he's interviewing a historian talking about how this war came to be and the other one talking about a little bit of a history but explaining where it's going uh ukraine has lost there needs to be uh, or nato has lost it's not ukraine it's nato war against russia and there needs to be a peace deal made otherwise this is just gonna expand like cancer world war three and i think we're already in there I'm scrolling down, gang. I'm going all the way down. Rental cigar patio pig should be obligatory. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, they do. Da, 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 da. Aligat, da, Chicho. Some of the videos I have watched are so great. I know. I watched some of the videos and it's just fucking. I couldn't get it out of my head and I still can't. Like one of the videos I watched was Ukrainian soldiers stuck in a minefield. Right? What the f fuck right flat land you know it's a fucking minefield right they just thought they could go through it right they got stuck in a minefield it's like a 45 minute video with a drone shooting it fucking watched i watched like 30 minutes of it it's just fucks you up right the last part of the video you see the tank rolling up and the back door opens up and they're either trying to get a person or trying to get some equipment or something and fucking this young kid oh fuck man decides to or he's been ordered to go and get whatever it is he's trying to get and he jumps into a little area that's already been blown up so if, if it's already been blown up you assume that oh the mine is detonated there so that's a safe place to stand right so he jumps there does one movement and there's drone footage of this fucking thing done does one movement blows off both his fucking legs right he's trained well he grabs a fucking what do you call belt or whatever they have he's got fucking stub on his right fucking leg right he puts up his leg the fucking bottom part is gone He's tying up his leg so he doesn't bleed out. The other one's fucking dangling. It's fucking done, right? And he fucking tries to push with his leg, and it's fucking, fucking. He can't stand. He can't push because the other leg's fucking already done. It's just dangling there. And he fucking crawls. The another soldier comes out, deciding to help him. He's fucking freaking out. He's pulling back, and the guy crawls into the tank. And they fucking, can you get that shit out of your fucking head? You know how much of the shit I watched during the Iraq war, during the Afghanistan war? I, I decided not to watch anymore after 2010. It's fucking devastating. Why the fuck do people believe these fucking neocon, world warmongering piece of shit, Wall Street fucking freaks, right? And mainstream media fucking pieces of shit. War, war, war. Let's go. And people fucking join and go are you fucking crazy like fuck 
How stupid is society? How fucking stupid are we? Right? First of all, young kids coming out of education, they're so fucking propagandized by fucking Hollywood, right? And mainstream corporate media that fucking they think war is a fucking game, right? Or Hollywood. You get your medal, you're honorable. Die an honorable death, right? All this fucking bullshit coming through Hollywood, right? Media doesn't tell them anything about history. Education doesn't fucking do anything with that shit. You got fucking oligarchs flying around private planes eating fucking lobsters and fucking little ditty, little fucking Epstein Island shit, sending other sending young kids to go die. Meanwhile, the parents are so fucking dumb they allow their kids to sign up to go to war. All right? That's my take about war. Fuck all those people that fucking promote war. All right? You, you fucking that dumb? You're going to go to war? By the way, I had a conversation with two people. Actually, no, it was three of them, right? In 2000 and... Um, it was 2002 in Vancouver. And I was doing the club scene. I was partying my ass off. It was a local hangout we had, that pool table. Started there, ended there the night, mornings, I guess, right? And I, I knew my places. That was a hangout, right? And we had three three kids at the time. They were probably 19 years old, 19, 20 years old, right? They were soldiers. They were American. They came up from Seattle to Vancouver. Why? From Seattle, from Seattle to Vancouver. Why? Because drinking age in Seattle in the United States, in most states, is 21 years fucking old, right? They can join the military when they're 18 and go die and kill. But they can't drink until they're 21 right so they came they, a lot of lot of americans used to anyway come to vancouver to party right to go to clubs to go to strip joints to drink to smoke weed right so i was in this hangout these fucking kids 18 19 years old they're in my local hangout fucking on fucking puffing on weed smoking drinking partying girls around shooting pool i was very good i could clean the table right i could do two twice right and they said yeah I talk with them a little bit they said yeah this 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 9 11 you know blah 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 i said gang you're being played i'm sorry that you're gonna go there uh but you're about to you're about to uh have a quick lesson in geopolitics and i left it there right i left it there I can't believe people are still fucking doing what those fucking kids there did then. They're going to put in bad. Fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. That's my little rant. Right? Andromeda. And how does that bode for the Ukraine? Are the Russians going to take over Kiev? No. Russia would be... St Kiev is a fucking cancer right now. Right? It, Ukraine is fucking done. It's lost this population. It just murdered 200,000, 250,000 of its fucking able bodied men. Anybody that could get, got the fuck out. It's got no industrial base anymore. It's done. It's bankrupt. It's been sold out to BlackRock. Fucking what a bad investment that fucking was, right? Why the fuck would Russia want to take over cancer, right? It, it, it's a money pit, as it shows in Europe. Most of European countries are in a recession. They blew the fucking military is done. They're all bankrupt, right? Why the fuck would you want that? Russia's going to take over, keep what it has, most likely take over Odessa, right? And say, don't fuck again. Don't fuck around with us again. That's my take. That's what I think is going to happen. Sign up for dinner, Chicho. Maybe a nitpick, but don't you think civil war flag should be a bit more north um, that you place in India around the Kashmir region? Yeah. And maybe not in the mid Rajag. Yeah, I agree. Well, wait a second. Is that the Rajas of Kashmir? We're up here. So, okay, sure. Let's throw it up there. Let's throw it up there. 
But then again, the let's put it up there. India, I agree, it's not. Oops. It's India is really like multiple countries in one, right? But it is the country that it's. Well, I guess we got India safe haven down here. So India is two things: civil war, safe haven. Could possibly be actively participating in war, right? I'm gonna scroll down, gang. I know uh, my rant. I'm gonna read stuff that's directed towards me, Chicho. Uh, Swag boy flex. Uh, civil war, U.S. civil war. We're getting there. I don't think it's there yet. It's an oligarchic civil war. There's no doubt about it, right? The oligarchs are going at it, but it hasn't filtered into the rest of the population yet. Peeps be sheep, Chicho. Have you seen the movie Ukraine on Fire made in 2016? It is very true. Uh, that's Oliver Stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew about Ukraine uh, in 2014. I wrote an article on it, right? If you go to my site, go to Ukraine, you'll see I wrote like three different articles on it. Uh, on the left hand column, if you hit, I wrote four articles on it, right? If you hit the Ukraine section, there's four articles I wrote on it, right? So I knew what was going on in Ukraine before that. It was pretty important, right? Elega Chicho, I watched one where a soldier goes through an underground tunnel shooting enemies like it's Call of Duty. Oof. Yeah, I, I don't want to watch any of that shit. Lonely Piggy, Chicho, Air Canada canceled and rescheduled one of flights, not once, twice over the course of the night. So now I'm departing Montreal tomorrow and landing in Vancouver before heading to Regina. Wow, wow, wow. You're going to all... Oh, you got to go to Vancouver and then so just for you guys you guys to know Montreal right Regina is over here where is Regina Regina where is Regina oh my god I can't believe I can't find Regina where is Regina here, there's Regina how come you can't go to Regina right away so Montreal fly to Vancouver and then fly here welcome to Canada <laughs> Regina fun fun times but at least rcmp people were understanding of my situation but also i hope everyone's doing well indeed what's the brain trees there was a video where ukrainians went into a minefield legs were flying was br yeah that's the one i saw mr brain freeze oh, that was fucking brutal man i'm scrolling down gang andromeda chicho i always make this argument the drinking age in the u.s is probably possibly the dumbest law ever signed in 18 year, year at 18 you're mature enough to take someone's life but not enough to drink alcohol yeah and you know why they do that because if you start partying it up drinking hooking up with boys girls whatever just having a good time boo -boo, partying it up why the fuck would you join the military to go see the world when you can go to your backyard and party it up right control mechanisms <laughs> Automat zap you, brother. Uh, swag bag. They can't do anything about it. After you sign up, you're locked in. After you sign up, you're locked in. Pink QB. I think now I understand why the U.S. Army allows TikToking while at work to prey on the minds of the young. Indeed, indeed. Sign up for dinner. By the way. Just, just want to say the map is beautiful. I enjoy um, geography. Perhaps we should do these map map activities often. We did for a while. We did like five in a matter of like three, two months, th uh, two or three months, I think. And we took a little couple of month break, but things are changing, right? Neocons are the worst. Neoliberals, hand in hand. They're both pieces of shit, right? Civil war in France, is it expanding? I heard it's expanding, but I wouldn't say yet that it's already done. Patre, patre, patre. Oh, a control mechanism stream would be cool. There's a bunch out there. Yeah, yeah. Control, just control your population. Man, if we had independent, if every country was just full of independent schools 
All these wars that we see, they fucking drop by 90%. Really. Lonely Piggy, some airlines uh, do Montreal Regina, but RCMP uses Air Canada. Go figure. And <laughs> it initially had me do Montreal, Saskatoon, then Saskatoon, Regina. But yeah, Vancouver it is now. Oh, well, wow. I hope you get a little layover in Vancouver. Uh, shame socks. The age is set at 21 because that is when the prefrontal cortex is developing to a point that alcohol won't inhibit it. Um, I, I don't think that's the reason. Not, not me personally, right? Um, I, I think what the current medical system understands about uh, the human body and healthcare and stuff like this has been proven to be pretty fucked up right pretty fucked up right pretty fucked up andromeda i lean conservative so neocons piss me off more they yeah that being said in the last couple of years i see both right wing and left wing politics as trash yeah i'm with you they're both pieces of shit lonely piggy uh four hour four hour layover time enough to do things in vancouver ah yeah there's sky train that takes you to vancouver it's about uh half an hour to a 40 about half an hour ride to downtown vancouver and a half an hour back so that gives you about two hours um so you could do that uh, depending on you know if there's delays and stuff like this if you want to be in there but if you want to have some good food uh, vancouver airport is very close to richmond it is richmond really so you could look up some nice chinese places to eat asian places to eat and go have some kick-ass chinese food but go only to the really good ones um, you could also go downtown and have some good food there um, where else is that there's there's lots of places in vancouver but yeah there's one place a uh, really good place and it's really cheap uh on vancouver and that's on the sky train route it's called um oh my god i forgot the name it's on west broadway and uh, uh and can be not can be yeah no west broadway in maine uh Su suhang village i think it's called uh, i haven't been there for a while they got good kanji and lots of good eats uh so you could do that sign out for dinner wait civil war is in uh peaceful scandinavia too peaceful scandinavia i don't know there's like sweden like game sweden are we at civil war level yet and remember the first western politician to come out and say sweden was crime ridden and going through some seriously hard times who was it who was it can you tell me who it was come on can you tell me who it was ah elder god i only eat cantonese lots of good cantonese here in vancouver the only piggy i'll do that get some good food in me before the poss possibly mediocre rcmp food for six months yeah 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 for sure who was it that said sweden is crime ridden having a serious problem who was it do you guys know and when did he do it when did he say it and it's a he and it's a he i gave it away it's a he who was it who was it you want to take a guess you want to take a guess leticia braga o3 salutations welcome to our live streams padre padre says it autobot tv says it donald trump castro elder god salute <laughs> Donald Trump came out, I believe in 2016, and said Sweden. Tim Pool talked about it uh, early. I think uh, Donald Trump was way before. Uh, I think. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for joining us. But I got all three. Uh, Donald Trump was the first one I heard of. He said Sweden's fucking serious immigration problems, serious violence, women are getting raped, this, da, 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 da fucking western media laugh people laughing at him oh look at this trump what an idiot he's saying sweden sweden's in trouble there's lots of violence. sweden's safest place by the way sweden went down the toilet when they partnered up with the uk united states to give up assange to go after assange right so back then in early 2000 2010s 
I realized Sweden became was was fast tracked to become a shithole, right? And yep, yeah, fucking no offense to our Swedish friends, by the way. If you want to know what's going on in Sweden, watch Sanity for Sweden. Sanity for Sweden. Sanity for Sweden. I watch all the videos he puts out. Almost all the videos. Sanity number four Sweden. Oops. Sweden. Watch his videos. Okay. Sanity for Sweden. And Donald Trump came out and said, Sweden has a major major crime problem and uh, it's going down the toilet and western mainstream media and lib neoliberals and neocons oh this guy's an idiot no he was fucking bang on man he was bang on right braga i love your map i studied geography at the state university of sao paulo brazil salutations to brazil Woo, we got two people here from brazil and probably more salute salute Rendell, no offense taken. <laughs> Rendell's in Sweden. Sweden also had the COVID response. I didn't understand. Uh, they on that front they did well, right? Maybe nice. I'm going to make a prediction. After France, I think Germany or Belgium will be the next up for civil war. If Belgium, I agree with. Belgium, I agree with. Germany, I don't agree with yet. I have relatives in Germany. They're pretty sleepy. They're pretty sleepy. It's going to take a lot to get Germany uh, to wake up, or Germans to wake up, majority of them anyway. Peeps be sheep, I live in Germany and it is very possible. You think it's going to happen soon? My prediction is not anytime soon. It's soon meaning next few weeks, next few months. Belgium, next few months possibly, next few weeks possibly. Andromeda, does anyone in here think Trump will win in 2000, uh, 2024? he should win if biden is running if rfk is allowed to run maybe not uh but according to martin armstrong he's not going to win the elections are going to be the same thing as they were before by the way brazil brazil braga we mark brazil as a civil war uh i think we need to pull that back now i think it's transitioning to become safe again what do you think safe i think brazil we can put as a safe haven for now do you agree before i put the blue on there i want confirmation yes yes it was very close to a civil war very close to a civil war brazil safe nice to see some places going blue again I'm waiting for these to go blue. Okay. Uh, Andromeda, I think it's over for Biden. Hope so. Shame socks. France popped off early. No, we were expecting it. We knew France was going to pop. Out of Europe, this is the only one we marked as a civil war. And we figured, or Western Europe anyway because that was the first one that was going to go it was the first one that was going to go one that might go possibly uk depending if they decide to send boots on the ground in ukraine which i don't think they can they don't uk doesn't have it right but they might do some saber rattling and try to do it who knows theft ettp thrift thrift just saw one of ben and jerry ceo get arrested for protesting the release of julian assange yeah 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 got arrested for uh, supporting assange good on ben and jerry's right on that front anyway plutorino but they barred the former press baby nice yeah i've been following the situation in most of the most of the europe it's going to be fun next few months I'm from Croatia, by the way. Cool. What do you think is going to happen in Croatia, baby nights? Croatia seems pretty stable right now because the pressure on Serbia got pulled back a little bit, right? What do you think is going to happen?
Croatia. I think safe still, but Croatia did a stupid thing and their currency is now the euro. Has it all completed the rollout of the euro? I think it's going to take a little bit of time, no? Andromeda, was the 2022 election stolen? I don't know. It's... You decide, right? I don't, I, I have no trust in the integrity of any Western uh, election systems. I don't, I don't. Why would I? Right? Braga, with the new president, everything's going back to normal. I, I don't know. Lula came out. And said anybody that refused to get it, injections should be put in jail. To a certain degree, he was saying that kind of shit and should be fined. That's crazy. That's waging war on your own citizens. That's why we put it as yellow. But if he continues on that front, then we'll see where it goes. So right now, safe haven. However, I don't trust any leader on that front when they want to throw their own citizens in jail because they don't. They want bodily autonomy. It doesn't make sense to me, right? Metamancers, calm. Yep, stolen like hell, he says. Cheryl, what normal? Yeah, what normal? <laughs> what normal? That's one thing, too. Brazil flip-flops a lot. So, and there's a lot of hands in the cookie jar in Brazil. We'll see. Like, Brazil, Lula's on a geopolitical front front he's doing a pretty good job playing both sides BRICS and united states and stuff like this but once things get a little hotter we'll see if he's able to handle the pressure right andromeda what about the war in armenia um uh, arts artsec arsec um uh, nagorno-karabakh artsec artsec uh is that still going on going uh, Russia stepped in uh, I think the peace treaty was signed so it's not a hot war anymore uh, but I'm not comfortable should we take this down we can't make it blue because it's not it's not a safe haven right it could be a safe haven uh, I think this is undecided yet to a certain degree. I, it's not a hot war. Agreed. So we should change that. We should change that. Nice, Andromeda. Good on you. Me neither. Many people here not jabbed. There are some that did and have woken up to the reality of what it is. All right? Hello. The Olive. How are you doing? Oh, gee, the Olive. The day is going good. So what do you think, Andromeda? If we take this down, we could just take it down and not put anything on there. Agreed. Let's take it down. Azerbaijan and Armenia officially not at war anymore. Okay. So we take these down. I'm in uh, Canada, West Coast. West coast of Canada, way over here. Where is everyone from, by the way? We got Brazil, we got Sweden, we got Croatia, we got UK. Um, where else we got? We got the US. Right? What is that in your glass, Chicho? I missed the first part. It's uh, Jameson. Jameson on the rocks. I might have to get some more rocks and put it on here. We got Malta and UK. We got Germany, right? Uh, we got uh, Birmingham, UK. So we got Germany, UK, Malta. Where is Malta? Here somewhere, Malta. Uh, and German, I haven't followed the war for a bit. But I'm glad it's over. I hope that Armenia wasn't fucked over in the peace treaty. Oh, Armenia got fucked over in the peace treaty. Big time. Calgary, Alberta, Andromeda. Nice. Hey, we're neighbors. <laughs> I lived in Calgary for a few months. I went to Calgary for a fair bit. Malta is a tiny island under Italy. Under Italy. Okay, we're over here. Where's Malta? 
There it is. There's Malta right there. Malta's right there. Which one was thinking about up here? There's Malta right there. So we got Malta, we got Germany, we got UK, we got Croatia. Nice. How's Malta? Is Malta a full blown country? Oh, Malta. Malta, you guys had that. Uh, I believe it was Malta, the journalist blown up in the car for the Pandora Papers. It was Pandora Papers? Right? Tony Drago is from Malta, I believe. Tony Drago. And gang, do not forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. Right? Malta has one of the, one of the highest population job. Yeah. I live in... Uh, UL, but I go to Malta to visit family. UK, UK, but I go to Malta to visit family uh, every couple of years. Nice, nice, nice. Right in the middle of the Mediterranean. That'd be nice swimming and stuff, eh? Man, Greece, when I visit the, the islands in Greece and stuff like this, beautiful swimming, beautiful swimming. But Europe, I wouldn't go to now. I really wouldn't. Europe is a hot zone, hot zone. A lot of countries bankrupt. Uh, a lot of countries in recession. Uh, they're actively supporting war or are in war. Uh, digital uh, gulag coming down. Euro in deep trouble. I mean, Western countries are all in shit show, really. All of them shit show. So we see, we see, we see where it all goes. Uh, those are the main updates war gone down from here good thailand unfortunately i think civil war brazil went blue awesome right what else we got france basically everyone agrees it's full-on civil war now we haven't decided here what's going to happen sudan is war civil war proxy war red war but it's calmed down a little bit. So what happened with Sudan? What's going on with Sudan? Malta has some amazing landscape. Nice, nice, nice. Braga, I live in Brazil, but I lived in South Africa for a few years. Cool. Aldegat, Cantabra. Australia is vac central, apparently, is it? Australia, they were so draconian. It was crazy. Andromeda, I wonder, I wonder to what degree that the France situation will escalate to. I think it's going to continue to escalate, especially with the economic situation getting worse and worse. Right? We'll see. It might we might see a calm down. I think this is the calm before the storm. This summer, uh, my recommendation is prep, prep, prep. Because next year, two to five years is going to be pretty rough. Pretty rough. The olive. You know you can drive around it in one hour with no traffic. It's that small. Yeah. It looks very tiny. I drove around. Um, God, what's that island off? Uh, Ibiza. I went to Ibiza many moons ago, late 1990s. And I rented a car and I went beach hopping. Did rally racing down dirt roads just by myself, Moroccan hash. Found little beaches and just went swimming. Looked on the map, found another one. I'm assuming it's like bigger than Ibiza anyway. Right? It was super fun. Super fun. Baby nice. European Union did an amazing job in destroying every country. Yeah, 100%. Hopefully it will fall within the next 5 to 10 years. I uh, I thought UK leaving EU would do more damage to EU, but it didn't. Don't know why. Because they decided to sacrifice the UK. You got the globalists going in there that were pissed off at people for deciding to leave the EU. That they decided to collapse the UK economy to teach the British a lesson. Right? Crazy. Pink QB, can we get a table to show which countries are on the red and blue team <laughs> uh, learn 
learn red learn lean red lead brew for world war three ah that's a good idea actually that's a good idea like for example thailand was leaning blue now it's leaning red we need a table okay we'll keep it in mind let's see if we can maybe put one together before the next stream next map stream anyway right cheryl no traffic just a few naughty donkeys or goats in the road or or is that the corsica the olive it shares his language with western arabic i'm pretty sure does it oh i didn't realize that andromeda chicho do you think the eu is a bad thing i'm definitely not a fan. yeah yeah eu horrendous started off as a good idea but a centralized power up the yin yang an unelected body of oligarchs deciding what hundreds of millions of people can do with their finances with their livelihoods with their rights with their countries fuck that noise fuck the eu like fuck the eu what a horrendous institution fucking fascist up the yin yang disgusting every country in the eu should separate from the eu bring back your own currencies get get control over your own fucking lives arctic mule salutations how are you doing orkney started looking uh, orkney <laughs> started looking at joining norway and leaving uk the other day so maybe that will be interesting i don't know norway norway is better than like financially it should be better than the uk but norway is doing so stupid shit as well like helping to blow up the north stream 2 pipeline right so norway is doing some stupid shit as well oh the god i'm expecting a return of the oas in france just a f new uh objective what's the oas is that the secret military wing that was fucking knocking people off in algeria and drum that the un is bad too i agree the un needs to be disbanded the un is is become draconian fascist institution yeah fuck the fuck nato fuck the eu fuck the un fuck fuck who fuck fuck all these centralized institutions they've all been hijacked right metamancers metamancers spain and portugal is blue they send guns to ukraine but they never fight they are coward countries they never fight um they're supporting war when the time comes to i hope it never does to actively wage war they will they are a part of is portugal part of nato they are spain is part of nato i'm pretty sure spain is part of nato but they're part of you they'll they'll join the war fuck wef fuck wef that's the first one that gets shit get fucked right metaman metamancers by the way europe is in the verge of religious war with the islamic people europe is in the verge of an economic collapse and they're distracting the citizens of the u.s converting into a religious war one of the ways they did that they opened up the floodgates and let unfiltered mass migration on unfettered mass migration to flood into Europe because they knew they needed to distract the population from bringing up the as the French would say bring out the guillotines for the oligarchs right so that's what it is that's what it is I wouldn't call it I wouldn't call it a religious war it's a civil war and some people are being used by the oligarchs to wage war on other people in those countries right Elegant. they were against algeria independence from france yeah 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 so those ones yeah i knew it rang a bell oas yeah not gilly nato is extremely important for smaller countries to be safe for example albania and kosovo no i disagree albania nato has destabilized smaller countries has destabilized the world nato is a fucking destabilizing force no doubt about it that's what feeds nato that's what keeps nato alive destabilizing the world that's what it is right that's this that's this business model 
Yeah, they are NATO as well, Portugal and Spain, yeah. Thank you for clarifying. Maybe not, yeah. Da, da, da. I'm from Kosovo, you're from Kosovo, not Gil. Dangerous area, dangerous area. NATO's trying to fucking sh fuck shit up. Right? Baby nice, oh nice. Wish you all the luck. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, good luck. It's fucking dangerous, dangerous. Aid, aid the police, I can't pronounce that name. Aid, aid. Police, the police, Chicho. Can you elaborate on what you said about Europe collapsing and opening the floodgates to allow for distractions? Yeah, economically, Europe is collapsed. It really has. They know there's going to be unrest. They know that the oligarchs, centralized power, knows there's going to be unrest, right? So what they did, they allowed mass migration to come into Europe. One of the reasons is is because they wanted to do the great displacement and replace or bring in cheap labor to destabilize, to distract from people being really pissed. Just imagine if Europeans, this whole mass migration thing and this religious thing wasn't there, right? Who would citizens of Europe be really pissed at for the inflation, right? And for what's going on regarding what took place in the last three years they'd be extremely pissed at the ruling class right now people are being distracted and they're getting pissed at the mass migrants right some of those the people that were mass migrating into europe are agents they're being they're going to be used as the blunt military force to suppress the citizens of the citizens of europe when they decide to rise up against the ruling class, right? It's like the United States. Bush, people, people are thinking this is happening now, but this happened during the Bush administration, right? In the mid-2000s, they weren't getting enough people to sign up to go die and kill in Iraq and Afghanistan. So what the Bush administration did, they said, oh, those people that are willing to serve in the U.S. military will be granted a green card to acquire citizenship in the US. So people from other other parts of the world signed up to join the military in the United States so they could get a green card. The EU is going to start signing up migrants that have flooded into Europe and they're going to give them either temporary living status or living status citizen status to be uh, the blunt brute force for the police force they're going to put together possibly an eu army to suppress any uh, any any what do we call it anyone that wants to any natives, <laughs> pink cubie, you want to call them natives? Any natives, uh, any unrest within the native population in Western Europe and the EU countries, right? There's a reason why they're doing this. There's a reason why they're doing this, right? Peeps be sheep, Chicho. What are your thoughts on the book? The Strange Death of Europe, written by Douglas Murray. I don't know it. I don't know it. But it's not very strange. It's pretty strategic, right? I find it strange that people have a lot of to get so far. Baby nice, I know, it's tricky. When Yugoslavia fell apart, my country, Croatia, also had to join NATO. We were very weak and vulnerable, so we didn't have much of a choice. No. And that was part of the plan. That was the reason why Yugoslavia was forced to balkanize, right? That balkanization was planned. No, the people in Yugoslavia didn't want to separate. It was forced upon them. This has been covered by uh, a lot of historians, 
that it, it was balkanization of yugoslavia to destabilize the region right shame sucks this is why i say france popped off early i think the unrest was politically expedited uh to trigger before the energy crisis hits in the winter yeah yeah i agree i agree it was triggered 100 percent, right and some of those people that are creating a shit storm in france are agents of the state right or the ruling class elgar britain is now granting interest-free loans to asylum seekers 100 to 500 per individual yeah crazy huh craziness craziness mulberries gang mulberries picked a couple of days ago two three days ago from local community garden we have here these are so good so good and they've gotten sweeter since we picked them mulberries are the bomb and mulberries from what i understand they're really sweet but diabetics can eat them don't quote me on this don't you know look into this diabetics can eat them because they don't spike the insulin they they don't spike your sugar content uh, in the body so it's one of the sweet things that diabetics from what i understand can eat within reason that doesn't spike your insulin levels <clears throat> grokked up but why does biden dislike britain so much biden is a fucking puppet and biden is a piece of shit that dislikes anyone that's not a biden okay or a little child right metamancers when we will have a liqueur liqueur session oh it's sometime this summer I need to go through my liqueurs peanut butter pumpkin party i've never had those oh you've never had mulberries so good it's difficult to get mulberries fresh in my part of the world anyway you can't buy them in stores you have to find a tree that has them and pick them so good so good so good so good dashing dj yuri salutations dashing dj yuri uh first time chat chicho huge fan been watching you on youtube for like eight years nice 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 never managed to catch you live salutations thank you for coming in live and thank you for following uh watching our stuff for about eight years awesome old school old school grokked up he seems like he seems to like eu no eu eu is just oligarchs it's not it's uh it's a ruling class EU Biden doesn't give a does does the US Biden administration does NATO care about Ukrainian lives fuck no they just sacrificed 200,000 250,000 300,000 Ukrainians to push their NATO agenda what they don't give a rat's ass they don't give a rat's ass met the man sir for some reason auto mod zapped you because it didn't like the piece of shit but i'm going to read your comment and then allow it i love how you say piece of shit with so strong and determined tone haha <laughs> nice hey where'd it go the, oh it, oh there it is nice it allowed it nice nice yeah the biden crime family indeed elder god 100 percent haha <laughs> cheryl for for uh, mulberries i think that's for mulberries and the trees are a pain in the tatut and by the way in persian mulberry is called toot toot is that what you're referring to cheryl toot is the word for mulberries in uh, farsi in iran pink cubi there's a strong anti-british culture in the usa and i think it stems from the celebration of independence day possibly there's also many people that love the British, love the UK. Um, I don't know. UK, Britain has been acting uh, like U US's fucking lapdog. And some people would say the US is 
uh, London's uh, military. So really depends. Baby Knight Trump said if he was president, he would end the war within 24 hours. Yeah, he could. You could end the Ukraine war in 24 hours. Come out, funding stopped. Call up Putin, call up whoever in Russia, call up Ukraine and say, get on the fucking table. You guys sign a peace treaty. We're stopping to fund Ukraine. That's it. It's done. All right? This is a NATO war. It was pushed by NATO. Pushed by the West. Pushed by EU. That's what it was. Their plan was to balkanize, due to Russia, what they did to Yugoslavia. They wanted to balkanize Russia. They failed. They failed fucking badly. Right? Shame socks. The U.S. oligarchs care about laundering money, not any one individualized hatred. Uh, hatred. Yeah, yeah. They just care about themselves. Everybody else is cannon fodder, as far as they're concerned. Yeah, Cheryl, you didn't know that. Toot, toot, toot. <laughs> Great name for mulberries. Great name for mulberries. But the master, just curious if you talk uh, French. Because you're kidding. No, I studied French like for four years or something in Canada, but never learned that. I know I used to know a few words, but that's it. They don't teach it properly and they didn't really incentivize people to learn. Not me anyway. Lions, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, what's up? How's life? Doing good. We're about to end our stream, brother. We're about to end our stream. Not giddy. I don't know why people are so scared of ethnic borders or populations exchange between nations that do not go well together here's the thing the beauty of of the world is diversity not diversity that everyone in neighbor in your neighborhood should should be diverse but diverse cultures diverse food diverse languages diverse music all that why do people travel people travel because hey the food here tastes different than the food here the people here speak a different language than the people here. That's the that's fucking the beauty of it, right? But the ruling class has taken diversity and weaponized it against us. Fuck them for taking something beautiful and pure and weaponizing it. Man, what a bunch of horrendous pieces of shit they are. Right? Disgusting. Damn, I was caught up in work too late. Yeah, lions, we've been going at it for two hours. Have we classified the current situation in France in the map? Yeah, we classified it in the previous map live stream. We called it a civil war, and it's a civil war, right? And possibly expanding, right? Tout le monde, free Assange, Rendo, indeed. Not Gilly, I don't have any issues with diversity, but certain mixing simply cannot happen peacefully in certain contexts. So why not separate it? Pragmatic approach, by the way. Uh, maybe the Ukrainian war could have been avoided in that matter. Uh, the Ukrainian war was 100% engineered by the Western world. 2014 coup waging war against Russian Ukrainians, uh, criminalizing, not criminalizing, but uh, officially taking any other languages in Ukraine, other than Ukrainian, off the books, which is crazy because half the population speaks Russian, right? It was crazy. It's crazy. They weaponize diversity. Just imagine how horrendous these fucking monsters are, right? Gang, on that note, let's call this thing a stream. Let's call this a stream. That was a good catch up. There's a lot to think about, about what's going on. Uh, we did make some changes, which is good. Uh, and we'll see where it goes in the next few few weeks, few months, right? Lions, the memes coming out of France are the best part. Seeing zoo animals wander the streets and people dressed as superheroes fighting police. But it's also, uh, fantastic to see in a western country that the people will stand up to the government on mass yeah but there's also asian provocateurs in there fucking up individual citizens trying to create chaos so chaos has been unleashed in france let's see how it plays out it's there's good and bad aspects to it right 
I hope people start directing their concerns with the people that created this mess to begin with. We'll see. We'll see. Gang, thank you very much for being here. Uh, if you want to follow this work, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Stars. You can definitely follow the work there. Oh, God, living in Birmingham, UK. Uh, if we get anyone any more diversity we will have to change the official city language uh we are live streaming on twitch uh, you're definitely welcome to join us here and participate in these live streams pretty soon we're most likely going to be live streaming on rumble and possibly kick as well i'll see what i can do to live stream to multiple platforms for those of you that are supporting this work on twitch on substack on subscribe on um patreon and a handful of you still holding on on sensor tube gang thank you very much for the support as well as the support we're getting on all the other platforms and in all different means it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this remember that we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded participate in the discussions lions thanks for streaming chicho the little bit i caught always a pleasure awesome thank you thanks for dropping in alliance rendell all them uh scorcers Fucking up Birmingham, I bet I don't know what that is. Metamancers, when will the next stream be? I always arrive late for the stream. I haven't set them yet. We just did four in a row, basically. Uh, we did Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, next week, I'm going to take a little bit of break, get caught up in house stuff and whatnot, and uh, at some online, some other tech, you know, bullshit we have to deal with in life. And then, uh, not this weekend coming up but the following weekend we'll set up the streams again okay and we'll probably do a handful in a row again okay thanks for the stream educational oh thank you for being here shame socks uh gang we do announce these live streams uh 30 minutes or an hour before we go live and total minds vk gap uh getter and substack notes and for some live streams we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform uh it's just like Pakistan south is a gang aside from that mods 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 thank you for being here and having our back cheryl elder god thank you and whichever rendell thank you and whoever else that was here and for all of you who are coming to these live streams and participating in the discussion sharing information salute gang i hope you have a fantastic week Bye, everyone.